What's going on guys, Striker here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download GTA 5 vehicle mods, um, and specifically vehicle mods that replace vehicles in-game. Um, there were some questions on my last video about how to do certain things here and there, and uh, someone actually asked if I could do a replacement video or how to replace vehicle vehicles in-game. And um, I figured that it was easy enough and that I could go ahead and do it, so... Uh, I decided to, you know, just do it. So, what you're going to need is OpenIV, uh, Visual C++, Microsoft.NET Framework, ScriptHook5.NET, and ScriptHook itself, or ScriptHook5. Um, I'm not going to go into how to download all these, because I already did it in my other video. So, if you guys want to go and figure out how to download these, um, then you can go ahead and watch the other one. Just to, you know, save time. I don't want to have to do it all over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and whoops, I'm gonna go ahead and download this right here. Um, and once you do that, it's just gonna start right there. I actually already have it on my desktop right here, so I don't really need to. So I'm just gonna minimize that. And what you're gonna want to do is is open up your OpenIV and uh, open up the mod itself and this and whoops. Then open this up, and as you can see, it says add on and replace. And since we're replacing it, we're going to go to replace. And it's literally just as simple as dragging and dropping. So you're going to go to mods. And if you don't already have it, make sure that you have x64e in your mods folder. So what you're going to do is, is click on this levels, GTA 5, vehicles.rpf. And as you can see here, there's every vehicle in the entire game right here. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to go into edit mode, and you're going to drag and drop these three files, and just drag them and drop them in here. I already have them, so I don't really need them, but just to make sure that you have them, you can go ahead and scroll on down to wherever the vehicle is. So, as you can see, it is right here, so if you click on it twice, uh, and this has to be done in OpenIV, but if you click on it twice, you see it brings up a model of the vehicle. And, um, as you can see, this is what the vehicle is going to look like in game, obviously, with wheels on the back and everything. But this is what the vehicle should look like. So now, if we go ahead and hop right on in game, or go in game, um, you'll see that whenever you go and. I'm going to go ahead and get out of it. Whenever you go ahead and spawn the elegy, or however you say it. Uh, you're going to go to vehicles, uh, vehicle spawner, and then cars. You're going to go to sports. And instead of going to uh, to name the vehicle itself, like uh, going to put in the name, you're just going to go to sports and then the vehicle that you replace. And as you can see here, this is the vehicle. Now, I, I found with this replacement, and it this probably won't happen with every replacement, but this one's kind of off. As you can see, the canards on the left side aren't attached, and the hood's kind of off and everything. Um, and that's kind of why I prefer to have uh, add-ons instead of replacements, because with add-ons, it's not just ported over. Um, it's at The time is put into it, and as you can see on the sides, it's all kind of messed up. But I mean, still, it gets the job done. And if, if you're fine with stuff like this, then it's just as simple as... Uh, going right on ahead and dragging a couple files he here and there and I'm sh like I said before this probably won't be for every mod uh, or for every replacement mod uh, probably just this one and uh, I mean yeah that's pretty much it it's just as simple as I said like just like I said before it's just as simple as dragging and dropping a file here and there and then uh, you're ready to go and I believe with replacement mods you can still Go ahead and modify, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, you can modify it just how you normally would. Um, but I, I think like the mods are uh, kept to a, you know, a strict uh, amount of things, just like the normal vehicle would be. I don't think you can add custom stuff, but as you can see like with the carbon the splitter thing, it's kind of like inside the front bumper. So, like I said before, I would probably just go ahead and use the add-ons, but if you want to do replacements, you can. But, I mean, yeah, other than that, it's it's pretty fast. It takes, like, five minutes tops to do the whole thing. And uh, that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later.